Welcome to Unleash the Power of Age. I am Jennifer Lee Levitz, your host. We talk about the programs and activities at the Rose Baker Senior Center. Our sponsor is the Gloucester Council on Aging. I have a special guest today, and I'm very pleased to introduce to you our new activities and volunteer coordinator. Her name is Natalia Moshe. Many of you may know Natalia from other places in town um, and just from the fact that she's a Gloucester native. So um, if you know her already, you're a lucky person. And if you don't, you've got a treat in store. Please meet Natalia. Welcome, Natalia. Thank you for having me. Well, thank you for being here. We're all very excited about having you at Rose Baker. I am too. Okay. So the first thing I want, um, if it's okay with you, I'd like you to t tell us about yourself. I, I, I really liked it when I found out that you're local, that, mm -hmm. that you know the people, you know the place, you have the sensibility, and, um, and it, I think it really matters. How about you? It definitely does. I was born and raised in Gloucester, born at Addison Gilbert Hospital, so okay. I was probably one of the last to be born there. I graduated from Gloucester High School and then went on to Salem State, so I've worked in Gloucester, I've worked out of town, and now I'm happy to be back in Gloucester with the community and my clients. What other kinds of, so you're, you're working Activities and volunteers. What other kinds of, of uh, other experience at other jobs have you had? I worked at Addison Gilbert Hospital for 12 years. I was the shine counselor and financial counselor there. Oh, so I okay. helped with the health insurance, medical bills, mass health, Medicare insurances. So I, that was my longevity was at Addison Gilbert. And so you probably know a lot of our people already. I do. So it's great to see familiar faces. That's what makes me the happiest is that I'm back and I get to see everybody again. Okay. Um, I'm going to skip back to when you said you graduated from Salem State. Did you, you graduated from Salem State? I graduated. What did you do there? Um, I have a bachelor's in psychology and a minor in business administration. Woohoo! Yeah. Good for you. Uh, so, okay, more about your personal life. Let's see. You are married. I am married, yes. And? I have an eight-year-old son, Giorgio. Giorgio, mm -hmm. okay. And he will be starting at the new East Veterans School that will be built at the end of the summer, so that's exciting. A lot of great things in the community. It is. I loved I love going by that building, although it's not very easy to go by the building. <laughs> I, I keep trying to picture all those people trying to get to school on time, but I'm sure there will be a magic wand and some kind of traffic pattern will emerge. Yes, there will be a, there'll be a system. It will be, it will be great. The kids are really excited. Okay. I won't, I won't, I won't uh, delay us with that anymore. Okay. so. So you have a son, you have a husband. What, who, tell, me, tell me about your husband. He is from Everett, and he actually works for the city of Everett. So he is a city employee, too. So we're both city employees, which is great. Does he have a name? Steven. <laughs> and um, so when he's not working, he's an electrician. He's a DJ, too. So he DJs Ooh. on the side. So he's our handyman. That's great. Yeah. DJ, does he perform music? He, he helps out. He used to do weddings at Spinelli's, so he's done a lot. He used to DJ in Boston, and now he's DJing every other weekend in Andover at one of the local restaurants there called La Fina, and he's at Privé Lounge there. Wow. So that's his, like, fun gig. Wow. Yeah. That's fun. Mm -hmm. What else do you do? Um, like you have time, <laughs> but still, I bet you do something. Else. We love the beach, so we're happy summers here. We have a jet ski, so we're always out 
on the harbor too when we can be. But I'm definitely a beach girl. I have a twin sister. <gasps> so we're both we're both natives, live in Gloucester. You have a twin I sister? I do, there's two of us. Yep. What's her name? Christina. Okay. Yeah. This is gonna seem weird, but I'm doing it anyway. What does she do? <laughs> she works for Beverly Hospital, so we were both same but different. So she is a scheduler at Beverly Hospital. And she's been there a long time. Longer than my 12 years. Wow. Yeah. That's great. Yep. I want you to, I want, I want to ask a little about your parents because it's interesting to have two, two sisters get into the same kind of work. There must be an influence from your parents, and what is your maiden name, please? My maiden name is Lopes. So if anyone is familiar with Amelia's um, by Good Harbor Beach, that's my aunt and uncle that had that restaurant, so that was great growing up with that. Um, and back to the work thing, my mother also works for the hospital system. She's the translator. So we were like a one-stop shop. We were all part of it. That's great. Lopes. You yeah, were Lopes. I'm a Lopes. Okay. Oh, and speaking of which, so you speak more than one language I also. I do. Yep, I speak. I'm fluent in Portuguese and proficient in Spanish. So that's been helpful, too, with a lot of, you know, our community, our clients, our seniors, what their needs are, so we can help everyone. That's great. Yeah. That's great. So... Now that we know more about you, mm -hmm. what is it you do at Rose Baker? Tell me about somewhere between, so your, your duties and then also some specific um, activities. Okay, so I consider it the fun job. I'm really lucky that I get to plan the events that we hold at the Senior Sun Star. So we'll do anything from morning yoga some line dancing, we do card games in the afternoon, which is great. Um, we have bingo twice a week, so yes, that's, we do. <laughs> that's, that's a big one. But we also do a lot of presentations. So we have people come and speak, and we just had um, a speaker come and talk about the monuments, the local monuments here in Gloucester. That was really interesting. We had a hip hop chair dance class that just took place, so we tried to, to mix up the variety. How was that, that hip hop dance? Class? I was sweating watching them. So they did a lot of arm movements and leg movements when you're sitting in the chair. So it was good for you know, people that needed help with balance, but the music was great and they, they learned a lot of new, a lot of new moves. They like, did they like it? Did the um, clients like it? They did, it was fun, it was fun. That was, and that was a lady who's, who, was, um, who got special funding, and she came in. She offered it for free. Mm -hmm. Yep, she had a grant for that. Okay, so. But on the regular, we have bocce on the boulevard in the summer, which is really fun. So you can be enjoying the sights of the ocean and what we have to offer and throw some bocce balls around, which is great. You just brought it up. I have, like, I should have written it down. I got, like, three questions. Okay. So some of these activities have been going on for a long time. Mm -hmm. Some of them are new. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's between getting new activities or bringing in special things, which I assume is part of your. Yep. Okay. And what do you do like when you're not getting new stuff to do? What's your, what, what do you do? During that day, when when they're hip hopping and uh, doing the fun line stuff, line dancing, and so what what is it you're you'll be doing while they're doing? Well, that? we we serve lunch every day too for our members, so that's that's a big job in itself. So we're always helping with that. Um, we help with insurance needs as well. So if anyone needs help with their Medicare or their prescriptions, you can call the senior center and we can book an appointment for you as well. What are you doing? What is Natalia doing? I am making sure that we have enough volunteers. That's the biggest, most important part of my, my job there is making sure we have enough volunteers to run these activities and help host them. So we have a big fiesta luncheon coming up this week, which will be fun, so oh, yeah. much fun. 
So we want to make sure we have the decorations, the food ordered. Um, we'll do some raffles and some fun things for the members. So we, I want to make sure we have enough volunteers to make sure that everyone's accommodated and it will be a success. If I come in there on just some, some old day, just any old Tuesday, where do I find you? I am on the second floor of the Rose Baker Senior Center, but I'm everywhere as well. So I'll be sitting at the front desk greeting people, answering calls. So I'm really everywhere, but my home is on the second floor. Okay. Right and I have seen you, um, let's see, I've seen you, I'm trying to remember what activity I was at. Oh, I went to the art, the uh, Art Haven came in and they, Art Haven came in and they were teaching a class in acrylic. Yes, intro and, to and, acrylics. Okay, you came in, and what, what were you doing when you came in? Just checking it out, seeing how it was going, learning all the different mixing of the colors and the pastels. So we do in our program that Junie Van Dyke runs um, every week. So she'll do painting, drawing, she'll do pottery, but we'll have some special art classes like the one you came to, the acrylic one. Um, we'll be doing some on drawing and sketching, hopefully coming up soon. I have seen you with a clipboard. Oh, what yes. Are you, what is, that's what I'm trying to get okay. at. What is, tell me about your clipboard. So we want to make sure that everyone that comes to the Senior Center is a registered member so we know oh. what you're there to do. So there are sign-in sheets where you can come in and sign in and register to these fun activities and events that we host. But I take attendance to make sure everyone's there, to see if anyone needs anything. But we get all our funding there by you go. making sure we are filling the senior center and we're there for everyone's needs and right. keeping it, keeping right. it going. So right. having people come and register to these events, keep, keep the building going. I, um, I'm going to point out for a second that um, it, isn't, it isn't a whim that that you're asked to check in or, or um, sign in or be a member. It's very important for state funding and for special funding that we have accurate accounts of the number of people who go to the activities, who come for what, and the, a little bit of the demographics. Nobody's going to take a look up our members and call you up and do anything about anything. It's just for record keeping. And it really does affect the amount of funding that we get. Mm -hmm. And it's also helpful to, for us to get to know our, our clients and our members to see what they like and what they want to come to the Senior Center, what we can, what we can do. What do you think about somebody, what would you say to somebody who said, oh, the senior center, that's for old ladies with walkers or people who play bingo. I mean, I could go and get my discounted trash bags, but it's so much more. What do you say to people who say, oh, I wouldn't go there. I, I'm not old. That's a great question. I get that every day because they see me sitting there and they say, you're too young to be here. And I'm like, well, we're the generation that's going to be coming. This is where we're going to be coming, so we want to get everyone involved that we can, whether it's to come in and buy trash bags at cost or to come in for lunch or to come and play bingo with your, your parents or your relatives. We, we love it. We welcome everyone. Really? It's, and what's the, age? what's the age limit or age range for membership? 60 plus um, or if you're disabled. Okay. Mm -hmm. And anybody can come in and they get a free membership? You can come in and sign in to be a member, yep. And a lot of people come in when they're turning 65 and retiring because we know they need help with their insurance and Medicare. So it's already one step in the door when they're starting to think about what they're going to do when they're not working. There's, there's um, another little bit of a point about the who should be a member or, you know, Oh, I don't need the senior center. I have my social, I have my circle of friends. I go here, I go there, I can go anywhere I want. The thing is that your senior center can be anything you want it mm -hmm. to be. We respond to people's requests. 
And if there's something that isn't going on there, people have brought in lots of kind of people brought in canasta recently. Yeah. People brought in the bocce. Marjan. Marjan. Mm -hmm. There's, I know one of the things we didn't mention was the um, memoir group. Yes. Two people, two people have published books out of that memoir group. It is, you'll find your niche. Mm -hmm. You'll find the people that are for you. You say, oh, I don't know any of those people. It doesn't matter. You'll find people, yeah. right? Or come in and do some yoga and stretch out or some arthritis chair exercises to help with balance, just to come in and come to a social gathering with your friends. Who does the um, arthritis? Carol Palazzola Carol from Palazzola. Element Care. We Element love Care. It's a great class. She does a great class, and she's a great gal, and she does a lot of helpful things for seniors, all seniors in Gloucester. She's Absolutely. very active at Rose Baker. Yeah. Yeah. So, tell me your day tomorrow. Well, we're preparing for Fiesta. So, we're getting all the decorations and everything in order. We'll have a really big luncheon for that. And then we do mobile markets as well once a month. So, that's going to be Friday. This Friday, this, this coming Friday. Friday. Yeah. I don't think the show will be on before. These, that particular event. So but. we have it every month, the third Friday of the month, so people can come and get their produce and groceries and eggs and... From the open door. From the open door, yeah. How do you, how do you get involved in that? Anything that you want to sign up for, you can always call the Senior Center and register for any events. We have a calendar, Coastline News, that goes out in the mail once a month. And it's great to be a member so you can sign up to receive the calendar so you know what we have going on for the month. But you can come in and sign up for any of these events or call us as well. Okay. Um, or, let's see. You can sign up for things. Can you sign up over the phone? You can, over the phone or in person. And... Um, Another very popular thing that I forgot to mention, but the first three Mondays of the month, we have Old Salty Jazz Band playing. So it's great to come and sit and listen and dance. We love it. We oh, welcome it. I know. These are a bunch of old farts who, they, they're retired people too. Well, some of them still play out. They're professional musicians. And they get together and play just because they love to get together and play. And some people dance to the music. Mm -hmm. Some people just listen to the music. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun to be there working and to do my job every day, but I get to hear the music and see all the exciting things going on. So that reminded me that there are people who come for a morning activity and stay for lunch, or they come for lunch and then stay for the afternoon activities. Mm -hmm. um, do you want to tell what the lunch setups are? So you can sign up um, for lunch. Every day we have lunch on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. It's through Senior, senior care. care, and then Thursdays and Fridays, it's through the open door. So you can always call us to put your name on the list, or you can come in and sign up for when you're available. And those, those always have to be done um, two days ahead of the day you want to eat. eat. Um, the open door lunch is soup and sandwich and a salad and a dessert and mm -hmm. a piece of fruit that you almost can't eat all of it. Um, and it comes in a brown bag, and you can take it home with you, or you can eat it there. And the lunches from senior care are really the same. Whatever is going out for Meals on Wheels that day yeah. is something you can come in uh, and eat at Rose Baker. Is that, um, what do I want to say? Is that, can you take that one away, or do you have to eat that one in? You know. You eat it there. Okay. So we'll have a congregate meal, or you can sign on to have it delivered if that works best for you. Okay, congregate meal. 
No, no, it is. It's a great, that's a, that's a. Come in, chat, do some knitting and crocheting. That's one of the groups we have as well. That's fantastic. That and that, eat some lunch. That's usually on Tuesdays. Do they, Tuesday morning. They meet in the morning. Mm -hmm. Stay till lunch. Yep. Anybody who wants to, anybody who needs to, can come in. There's a group of ladies. I think it's all, that one is all ladies. Mm -hmm. They can teach you how to do any knitting or crocheting you need. They, if you have a mistake, they can help you fix it. And if you need something made, they can do that too. Yep, they just made a batch of baby hats for the hospitals, which was great, and beautiful blankets that we brought to um, the hospice center. Oh. So they're always working. Those hands are always going, and what they make are beautiful. They're beautiful. They're, they're different stitching, different patterns. It's amazing. Imaginative color combinations. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I bet if you brought, uh, brought the uh, yarn to them, they would, they would make something with your yarn, I'll oh. bet. I'll bet. But they're very, very accommodating, very sweet. And eager to have people join them. So if you're already doing that at home alone, you can come on down and do it with some other people. Knitting, crocheting, or whatever. So a little bit of everything. There's a little bit of everything. Uh, we have a few pictures, photographs, and, and video clips that Natalia did that we'll sprinkle in with this information. So you won't have to just look at, well, looking at Natalia is terrific. Looking at me can be interesting. <laughs> but I'd rather look at the clips and Natalia, thank you. OK. Um, I'm noticing your bracelet. Let me see that bracelet. Oh, well, there's a bunch. Look at them all. Yeah. Have you been collecting these? These I get in Portugal. So that when I go to Portugal, I always get one of those, and then these are just my little evil eyes. I wear evil eyes too. Yeah, you gotta protect. I have yourself. one dangling off my ring, and one on my all I over love me. It. We need I to. I know. That's great. Um, so you go to Portugal? Yes, my family has a house in the mainland, so our, most of our family's there. How often do you go? Um, I haven't been since before COVID, but my parents go every summer. So hopefully every other year type of thing. Well, I hope you get there soon. I know. Geez, if I had something like that, I would miss it. I would want to go. Yeah. Um, we are getting close to time, and I want to make sure I leave uh, a few minutes for the um, for a couple of the videos to have sound with them, right? Yeah. Okay, so it won't just be rolling over our conversation. Um, is there anything else you want to make sure people know about you or about the activities or about, what, what would you say to people? What do you want to say to people? I would encourage anyone to, if you're thinking, should I sign up, should I not? Am I too young? I'm barely just retired. It's good to come in, get your foot in the door. We're always accepting and eager for people that are newly retired and looking for something to do and volunteer their time with us to make sure we have all these great events happening. So if you are wondering, should I do it, should I not, it's always, there's never the right time, but we are always welcoming I was everyone say, to come. Yeah. And, you know, you we just, don't bite most of the time. And see, I forget that. But now if it's your job, you think about the fact that well, you may not want to do anything there, but you might be able to volunteer some time. Mm -hmm. So even if there is no activity that you personally want to do, grab a friend, come on in, see if there's a volunteer activity available for Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Come in, grab a cup of coffee, and we have a lot of uh, teachers, my old teachers I get to see, so it's great to see them come back, and now they want to give their time back and do something for the community. And we love it. So I will uh, roll the phone number on, but I want you to tell me what phone number should be they call for um, different things. Um, if you want to call the front desk and have basic questions, you can call us at 
325-5800. And if you want to call to book an activity or sign up for lunch, you can call me at 978-325-5812. 5812. So that's your direct yep. line, and they could leave a voicemail for you. Yep, and I can get them signed up on the list. Okay. And we hope to see everyone there. I think I think that's about it. In a nutshell. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Natalia. Thank you, Jennifer. Thanks Yay. for your time. Yeah. Okay.